Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 on a misty day in Central Texas. The weather men, ladies, all of them miss the weather forecast. It is a little misty. I was going to go do a triking thing over in Burnett, Texas, but uh, ain't going to happen in the rain. So I went by the grocery store, and folks, I got to tell you, as you know, most of you, near holidays grocery stores are slammed as in packed as in crowded and our grocery store up here was no exception i mean whoa parking lot was full man you know i'm amazed at how efficient we are at feeding a large population i mean as fast as stuff is being hauled out, stuff is being hauled in. I mean, it's, uh, no, I know it's, it, it, it works, but you know, if there's ever a slight interruption somewhere in the supply chain, can you imagine? You know, and I'm sure some of you that live along the coast, coastal areas and have been in areas where there have been hurricanes, realize that those shelves can get cleaned off real quick, and they do. Because I've been, I lived in Victoria, Texas for, I don't know, 10 or 15 years. And it's not on the coast, it's 21 miles inland. And whenever there was a hurricane <clears throat> uh, in the Gulf or projected to hit landfall and cause some disruption, boy, I mean, the canned goods and the water was gone. So, what does that have to do with RVing and triking and all that stuff? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just killing time. Because I had a video planned and it didn't work out because of this sprinkling rain. But the trike, the electric trike from electrictrikes.com, the fat tire trike, uh, does fit in the truck. Uh, the way I removed the handlebars was not perfectly uh, correct, and Jason from Liberty, or excuse me, electrictrike.com pointed that out by saying that trike man learneth. Well, see, He's correct us because if you end a word with E-T-H, then that adds credibility to that particular word because that kind of ties it into biblical speech. You know, eth, how areth, theeth, youeth, you know, and uh, so and so begatteth and begat and begat and begat. But anyway, yeah, I add E-T-H every now and then. If somebody disputes you, if you're having a debate and... Uh, it looks like you're going to lose, uh, then say this, I knoweth, I am a correcteth, and that, that will uh, ruin them. They can't dispute that, because that's total correctum. So, what's the plan for the holidays, Rusty? Well, uh, I have a plan to go to the Highlander and burn it, and have uh, Thanksgiving, well, and when I grew up, it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, and now it's breakfast, well, dinner and, well, no, when I grew up, it was breakfast, dinner, and supper. Sorry about that. And then it was changed around, so I sometimes get confused. But I'm going to have the noon meal, or approximately noon meal, with my oldest son. And maybe my grandson, if he'll show up, who knows? He's going to school and working, so I don't know what his schedule is. But the invitation is out there, and if he takes advantage of it, fine. If he doesn't, that's life. And what else can I say? Guys, you got to enjoy every day the best you can. You can't let the world get you down because it's working all the time. It never lets up. You know, you go in a grocery store. Here's something I thought about. I mentioned it in, in comment call this morning. For all you guys that are stuck in traffic, you know, it would be, it would be an interesting exercise to see if you could defeat the frustration of being in traffic jams. Now, how could you do that? Well, uh, you know, you, of course, you've got your favorite music you can listen to. Uh, you've also got audible books that you can listen to. And then you could play mind games like, you know, kind of watching a certain car and seeing how stupid they really are or seeing how stupid people really act in traffic jam situations. You know, like that if you leave an opening a two feet wide, they'll squeeze in there to gain a two foot, two foot advantage and then they all end up at the next red light waiting again. So, but be that as it may, 
this is today. So what have I got on my agenda right now? I'm gonna go, you're gonna love this. If you've ever eaten Amy's uh, chili, the low sodium chili, it doesn't have any meat in it. it it's all uh, beans and lentils and stuff, but it tastes just like chili, man, I'm telling you. And it's loaded with fiber and a lot of good stuff. It's all pretty much organic as far as I know. And I've got a few cans of that at my casita at my home base. And I bought me, have you ever, I bought me some Fritos? I'm gonna make me a Frito pie. You know what I mean? You put the Fritos in a bowl, put some hot chili over it. You can put cheese if you want to. I don't have any cheese. I got some cheese slices, but I use those for something else. And then I'm gonna add a little avocado, a little lettuce. Yep, and you could add other ingredients, whatever you happen to have in the fridge. And it makes a good meal. Simple, simple, simple. Just heat the chili, drop it in the, pour it on top of the chips, put something on top of the chips of your choice or nothing, doesn't matter. And then just eat that unhealthy food till you fall over. <laughs> it's not, the only thing unhealthy about it is really the chips. You know, the chips are loaded with a lot of not so good stuff, but I'm not planning on eating the whole bag. I'm just gonna put a few in there. So yeah, and uh, yeah, it also makes a good snack for a quick snack in the evening. You know, like if you just, you're reading a book and you just wanna have something simple and you, yeah, just fix you up some Amy's chili and, and you can actually dip the chips in there and eat it if you choose to. It's pretty good stuff. Amy's Organic chili if you can find it. Amy's Organic Low Sodium Chili. And moving right along from this potpourri of thoughts, my, in my brain it's like a popcorn machine. You know, there's a thought, there's a thought, there's a thought. And that's kind of the way my life has been and the way it will be. But the good news is we've solved the loading the fat tire trike issue even though i made a little mistake on taking that hope that stem all the way out you're just supposed to loosen that little stem that i took out and then the handlebars come off and there's another little piece that comes with it and uh, I, I left that little piece that comes with it in the deal but it doesn't matter fortunately when i put the stem back in and tightened it up it caught that thing that was left so no problemo because I went riding my bump bump trike uh, after I reinstalled the handlebars and there was no problemo whatsoever. So it looks like guys, the fat tire trike from electrictrike.com has found a home and for several reasons, you know, it's a real close, uh, you know, between the, you know, the Bolton, to be quite fair. The Bolton is a good product. I mean, I, I, I do like it. I mean, if I could take some of the, the things from the Bolton and put them on the fat tire, uh, yeah, we, we could make a perfect unit. But as it is, the, the one closest to my needs, now that I found out it will fit in back of the truck with the camper top on, is the fat tire from Bolton. I even put the license plate on it this morning that somebody sent me. One of the viewers sent me a license plate that says Rusty 78609. It says Texas on it. And yeah, pretty neat. Looks like a regular license plate. So it is official that that's going to be that. And then the Bolton will go to my son because I, I paid for it. I, I got a discount on it, a pretty good discount. But I basically paid for it, so I have no um, remorse about letting my oldest son have it. And, and for several reasons, actually, I can keep up with how it performs. And if he has service or maintenance issues, he, he, you know, I, I'll get some feedback with him, and I'll keep you all updated. But as far as electrictrike.com, man, they, they, they stay on top of it, or at least for me. I mean, uh, I guess because maybe I'm making them some money, huh? You know, somebody's making you money, you stay on top of it. I remember years ago when I, if I had a good salesman, I was in the car business many years ago, and every now and then, most of your car salesmen couldn't sell anything. You know, I mean, they just have no talent, no empathy, no nothing. They just walk up and say, you want to buy this thing or what? And that's not a bad approach. It cuts a lot of crap out. But, but whenever you found a good salesman or somebody that was moving product, uh, you, you want to hang on to them, and unfortunately you can't because uh, salesmen come and go, come and go. 
you know, even though some of them were making a good living, they'd move on to other dealers thinking they'd make more and more and more. And that's really not the way it worked because the way it worked was their personality worked well in that community, you know, or in that area because maybe they had the right uh, drawl or the right, you know, words or whatever. But if they moved to another area, a larger city or whatever, then they flopped because that didn't work there. You know, how y'all do and, you know, I remember I've told you this a thousand times, not a thousand, but a few. We had a used car salesman, sales manager and salesman named Bill. Actually, his name was Bill Battles. I, he was probably dead by now, but uh, he was the used car sales manager. I pulled up in the dealership lot one morning, parked, got out of the car, walked right by him. I said, hey, Bill, how you doing this morning? He said, oh, everything's chicken but the bill, and that's a packing. That's East Texas, folks. That's East Texas. And appreciate you, not appreciate you, just appreciate you. Yep, that's the way it was and is. But old Bill, he, did he sell cars? Hell, I, I'd listen to him talking to customers, and he, he didn't talk about nothing about the car. He talked about dog hunting, fishing, uh, you know, how's your house, how's the family, da 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 da. You know, kids doing all right. And next thing you know, that guy that he was talking to was writing a check and buying a used car. <laughs> I never felt the pain. So anyway, guys, now the rain's letting up, but it's too late for me to go change my mind now. But it, it's going to be, it's supposed to be 85 today. I, I don't see how it's going to make it because right now it's like 66. Uh, it could if the sun comes out, maybe. But 66 ain't bad. Well, guys, the, the holiday season is upon us, and I hope you're ready for it. I know, you know, it, it actually can be a very depressing, stressing uh, time of the year. And why? Because you got Black Friday, Cyber Monday, doodle 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 do, all of that stuff, and you almost feel obligated to buy something because they almost give it away. Almost. You heard that, didn't you? But they still make a hell of a profit. They make... Retail outlets make 40% of their sales from the Friday after Thanksgiving to the day after Christmas. 40% in a 30-day period. Interesting. And I have to tell you, next year you're going to see some more of these bricks and mortar uh, retailers going out of business. Why? The internet is killing them. Killing them. I mean, Amazon, my God, man. I ordered a bike seat yesterday. I ordered a bike cover, a bike seat cover on Sunday, and I got it Monday. And then I, I had ordered a, a regular bike seat, but I canceled it. So I ordered another one, a, a better one looked like, uh, yesterday, and it'll be here today. I mean, you, you can, I, that's unbelievable, man, that they have got their distribution system that efficient to deliver that quickly basically no matter what you order you know there are a few products that they don't stock or have in the warehouse but that ain't many I mean I'm, I'm impressed and they, they, they do their own delivery now no UPS no FedEx no USPS you know postal service they do it all and they do it quick amazing man yeah but, you know cutting out USPS I can understand why they did that because if the if it was gonna when I ordered something from Amazon if it was said, well, you know, it, the, the last part would be delivered by USPS, well, I just added two or three days because it, that's about the way it worked out. And I'm not saying that's anything negative about USPS. Maybe it was the connection between the two companies or some computer, computer issues or whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just like anything else. You just look at how it ended up. And anyway, talking a lot, ain't you, Rusty? Uh, yeah, I am. Why not? I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> Everybody else am I going to talk to? I've talked to those things in my RV, my, my group there behind me, you know, the, uh, Trenton Clump and Olive Oil and Popeye and Betty Boop and uh, Mr. Bojangles, you know, they, they're, they're, they don't even like to see me come in the RV now. They kind of try to hide. Come on down here, fella, in that old gray truck. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, hell, he's going off the highway. Well, he can't do it, I guess. I don't know what he's doing, but it ain't good. 
you know, he doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know if he needs to go left or right, so he's going to check Google Maps. <laughs> anyway, on a roll here, guys, enjoying life one day at a time. And you know, sometimes it ain't easy to do that. But by God, if you try, uh, you know, if you wake up in the morning and you think, man, this, is, this ain't going to work, uh, let that dog hunt and then get on out of bed and say to yourself, man, what a beautiful day. Even though it may not be, just say it. It just sounds good. Fire around for effect, so to speak. But be that as it may for the seventh time. What else do I say? I say what I say a lot? Something. There are several words I repeat myself. That's all right. And, and I know I, I make many, many verbal mistakes. Or I'll give the company the wrong name and all that crap. I, that's the way I am, guys. It ain't going to get no better. There's no pill for what I've got. So anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, Use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? You know why. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. It'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much like Frito Pie. I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply through your mouth or your nose. It does not matter how the air gets there. Just get it. Put, breathe in real deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes, 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 yes. What else? Stretch, 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 swivel, swivel, swivel. Exercise your body. Trike, 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 or, you know, bike, 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 whatever. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Why? Because you may live healthier a, a little longer. You know what I mean? It'll help your health. So what else? And then stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your perfectly beautiful head. Don't let them do it. Don't let anybody dump trash in your mind. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative. Enjoy your day like it's the first day of the rest of your life, which it really is. And uh, keep going, guys, with a smile on your face. Smile all the way through. And you know, if, if I was gonna be buried in the ground and had a tombstone, I'd just have them put a little deal on it that says, I enjoyed it. It ain't been bad. I've had ups and downs, but overall, I've enjoyed life pretty much, and I'm trying to enjoy it every day now, and I'm 74, so why can't y'all do it? Anyway, guys, from out here on this old bumpy road, let me end this video. So anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.